Reefing fam, what up? March here, Fragbox TV. I just want to do a quick video review on this Orbit 4 from Aqua Illumination. I just hooked up one, oh, sorry, here on our customer's tank inside their house. And I've always loved the AI products and now even more so, very impressed. I'm not crazy about the Red Sea Reef Wave, which is the exact same design. And the real reason is the app. And I think that's where AI really stands out, not only with their lights, but now with their pumps. This gyre style pump, we're using it here on a six foot custom in-wall tank that we put in and it's just so easy to set up it doesn't give me any headaches this is the first time i'm using it and it's everything i want and expect from ai it's just connects like that it updates i have it on my phone within 60 seconds there's the controller up there that i've mounted the power supply it's really really simple and i like that the controller is small because you're never really going to use this once you hook it up to your phone that's it you're just going to control it right off your phone i have it set right now to 80 percent maximum intensity on a random setting and 40% minimum. I'm not crazy about the size of the magnet, but it's super powerful. And this is a five eighths thick glass. And this thing is holding on really, really well. It's a peninsula, not really peninsula style, but the overflow is over here. And I wanted to get away without doing any flow on this side. But the way the rock structure, the way we've designed it, it was just really, it's kind of like dead over on this side. And you can kind of see from some of the soft coral that are usually really easy to keep, like Nephthia, Kenya tree, Suspicularia, leather coral, this leather coral. They just weren't doing really well because a lot of the flow is situated on this side of the tank. We have a pair of Neptune wave pumps, which are great. We have a Jabao SOW8, which is my favorite sort of inexpensive pump. And then now we have a ton, a ton of flow. I tried kicking up to 100%. It's just way too strong. And the way I've controlled it, I have one of them pointing kind of in a diagonal. So I like that you can twist the top and the bottom portions of the gyre. Let me just go around on the other side and show you. So I got one of them pointing basically in this, mm, let me show you, that direction right there. So I'm covering this rock. And then what I've done is pointed the other one there in the back. Uh, can you see in the back is facing right towards the camera so it's coming around the side of this rock it's keeping it clean of any detritus you can see these poor zoas are getting a little bit too much flow and then it's wrapping around the rock and we can see even from the tentacles over here so um, tank is sorry i'm burping two feet this way and then another foot this way you can see we're getting lots of nice current so i'm really happy with it but the standout the really you know the real selling point for me is just the ease of use we'll see long term how it's going to be um, in terms of maintenance so i've used max spec gyres in the past and when it comes time to service them it's not fun a lot of bushings parts gaskets a lot of little moving intricate parts that make this thing work but i won't be able to comment on that until later that's it maybe one day with the owner's permission i'll do a full or better walkthrough i'll go in the basement and show you the sump but um yeah, that's it. Quick review. Thumbs up. Really like it. AI. Good job. Not cheap, but it gets uh, our approval. That's it. Thanks for watching this quick and short review episode of Fragbox TV.